A former Anglican Archbishop of Adelaide has admitted he failed the victims of a pedophile network that operated within the church for more than two decades. Ian George has publicly was publicly questioned for the first time over the diocese handling of the sexual abuse allegations of a notorious pedophile. A belated apology from a former church leader more than 10 years after he resigned. I'm deeply sorry that the church did not protect children and indeed provided an avenue and an opportunity for someone like Brandenburg to abuse so many. Ian George, who was the Anglican Archbishop of Adelaide from 1991 to 2004, admitting to the Child Abuse Royal Commission that he could have done more to help victims I regret that survivors were deprived of the timely pastoral care which they were entitled to expect. Bart repeatedly denying allegations he was told about the abuse perpetrated by notorious pedophile Robert Brandenburg. Were you made aware of those allegations during your tenure as Archbishop? Ever. Brandenburg molested an estimated 80 boys before committing suicide in 1999, the day before he was due to face court on sexual abuse charges. Bishop George resigned five years later, following a damning report into the Adelaide Diocese's handling of the allegations. Today he was questioned about why Brandenburg wasn't sacked after two internal investigations, including one in which he admitted having a naked spa with a 10-year-old boy. Looking back, uh, it was obviously a grooming incident uh, and we should have done much more about it. Bishop George conceding procedures weren't followed in 1995 to investigate the spa incident, meaning Brandenburg remained at the church for another three years. I should have insisted that, um, that Anglicare report it to the police. Uh, all this would probably have not eventuated. Also an admission he should have spoken out about the offending four years before he eventually did in 2003. I'm sorry that further harm has been caused to survivors and their families as a result of my failure to act uh, as I should have. Kim Robertson, Nine News.